Hello, hello. All right. Hello. As we start to take our seats to celebrate this wonderful day, we thank you so much. I think they need to hear a man's oh, voice. I don't know about that. You did pretty damn mm -hmm. good. <laughs> Hello, everyone. If we could please have you take your seats, and there'll be lots of time to socialize and get together with our friends and loved ones here. But we're so delighted to have you joining us here on this sunny, beautiful election day afternoon. Please take your seats and we'll begin momentarily. Thank you so much. Shh. Let's all take a deep breath and simmer down and settle in as we start today. Shh. Breathe in, breathe out. <laughs> we want to have the good vibes, right? Thank you to those of you who are feeling that. Oh. All right, who feels relaxed? I do. And soothed? Boy, I'm going to have to go wherever you go because that was lovely. Everybody, we want to say welcome to A Reason to Hope, uh, the Power of Purple Luncheon. Uh, we are so happy to be with you. I'm Ray Cortapassi from WGN-TV, and uh, I'm happy to be here, happy to see so much purple, none more lovely than you, Gene. Um, thanks for being here today. This is really a, a wonderful occasion, and um, the Reason to Hope event uh, last year was my first here in Chicago, and it was a very special honor for me, and um, I'm, I'm so delighted. It's great to be asked, but something special when they say, can you please come back again? That says, okay, I guess I didn't mess that up too badly. <laughs> so thank you so much. I'm also uh, happy to have taken part in lots of Walk to End ALZ. Anybody here participate in a Walk to End Alzheimer's? If you haven't had a chance to do it yet, I, I would encourage you because like this luncheon today, it is a moment to sort of come together, feel the support, feel the love and acceptance uh, of people who are going through the same uh, battle that you are as caregivers. Uh, I certainly did with my father who lived with us uh, for five years and uh, was diagnosed toward the end of his life. And now my mother-in-law is living with Alzheimer's. So it is something that uh, we walk through together. And that is why we are celebrating here today. And I am so grateful to be with you here. Uh, Jean, why don't you just say a quick few words? So hello, everyone. My name is Jean Sparrow. I am from WVAZ V103 Chicago. Thank you so much. And I was part of the Power of Purple. Where are my Illinois Women Conquers Alls in the room? I've been a past host uh, for that event, and now we've come together to make it uh, an amazing sea of purple in the room to come together for the cause that touches all of us so much. Uh, I am part of the Alzheimer's Association because of my father, and also in honor of three aunts now that I have lost to Alzheimer's, but I was also a caregiver for my father, which was the uh, impetus for me to be here. And if it wasn't for the Alzheimer's Association, um, providing resources to point me in the direction that I needed to to get the support. How many caregivers do we have in the room that felt lost at some point in time? I know I wasn't the only one, but I am forever grateful to the Alzheimer's Association for that, and that is why I am here. Uh, the picture on the left is the last picture I took with my father right before the pandemic started, and he passed. So this time of year is always a little odd for me. Um, so if I end up crying, we already had a moment with Jan. <laughs> so if I end up crying, we'll just cry together because we've all been there at some point in time. Um, but the reason why I do it is because community is what got me through it. And uh, your support means absolutely everything. So I want you guys to give yourselves a round of applause just for showing up, for showing up for each other. 
and for spreading the love for those people who couldn't be here because they are caring for someone. And at this moment, I would like to um, acknowledge all the people who made this possible because our stories are just two of the millions in the world that unite us and bring us together and the, our generous sponsors who have committed to the cause have also made this a possibility. Our premier sponsors, CBOE, George Joseph, and the Make It Better Foundation. Our gold sponsors, Frank and Dolores Corbett Charitable Fund, Barbara J. Fender, Griffith Foods, and Carol Prenz and John Hart, along with our silver and bronze sponsors that are listed on the screens as well as in your programs. And of course, we have to acknowledge our event co-chairs who uh, put this, wonderful event together, Marta Cerda, Jaime DePaulo, Francie Harrington, Perry Ermer, Barry Masick, Donovan Pepper, and members of our host committee. And if you are a co-chair or on the committee, please stand up so that we can recognize you and thank you for your hard work. The collective hard work and commitment of this group of dedicated volunteers is remarkable. They are the reason we are here, and we're so grateful to each and every one of you for your efforts to make this year's event a, a success. So thank you for your leadership and your dedication. We would also like to thank our Illinois chapter leadership for your invaluable support. Please, at this time, all of our charter, chapter board, junior board, Illinois Women, Women Conquers All's members, current and former, please stand and join me in recognizing their continued leadership and, and commitment to the cause. Well, we hope you're enjoying your luncheon so far. Hear the clink clank of your silverware. While you're doing that, please turn your attention to the screens to learn more about Alzheimer's impact. So in that video that we just experienced there, you saw that uh, Alzheimer's is it's growing. And it is growing at an alarming rate. Just here in Illinois, its impact includes 230,000 people who are living with Alzheimer's. And when you factor in the caregivers, it's 312,000 people. By 2025, the number of people 65 years of age and older living with Alzheimer's is expected to increase by 13 percent, double digits. That's just one year. To 260,000 people. So what we're saying is there has never been a more critical time for us to be together to take action. And that is why we are here. This is a, an exciting day. This is the very first ever Power of Purple, a reason to hope luncheon. This luncheon is a, a combination of two events that have a strong history of raising awareness, uh, funds for care support and research efforts, uh, of Alzheimer's Association members. So we're thrilled to have you here to build on that legacy of these two events and to have a greater impact. More people here in this ballroom than were with us last spring. So this is a testament to the strength in numbers here. And we also wanna say thank you and recognize, honor two organizations who have joined specifically for this event with the Alzheimer's Association in the fight uh, to end this terrible disease. These two companies are the very first to receive these awards, and we look forward 
to presenting. We get to do a little Vanna White for each other hey, here hey. as we present the, uh, the inaugural. First award is the Corporate Champion Award. The Corporate Champion Award recognizes a partnership that demonstrates an extraordinary commitment to the Alzheimer's Association, furthering our mission of accelerating global research, driving risk reduction and early detection and maximizing, here's the important part, quality care and support. So we cannot think of a better example of corporate partnership for our first ever Corporate Champion Award than SIBO Global Markets. Let's hear it for SIBO Global Markets. In 2023, SIBO employees selected the Alzheimer's Association for a $100,000 grant to support our walk to end Alzheimer's and this very luncheon here. So we are really thankful, incredibly grateful for their partnership with us to engage and educate their employees uh, about this disease while funding critical Alzheimer's and dementia care support and research. So accepting the award today on behalf of SIBO is Stephanie Foley, Executive Vice President and Chief Human Resource Officer at SIBO Global Markets. Stephanie, congratulations. Our hearts go to you. Thank you so much for the support and care. Now, our second award is the Inaugural Health Systems Award. Now, this award represents a health system that has helped to move our mission forward to connect more people to critical resources and education that we need to deal with this condition. Today, we are proud to present this award to Advocate Healthcare. Through their years of support and service, Advocate Health has touched all facets of the Alzheimer's Association's work, partnering on many projects such as the U.S. Pointer Study, Family Education Programs and Conferences, the Knight Family Dementia Care Coordination Initiative, DCC, which is designed to increase access to quality care and support, which we all know is so necessary. Since 2020, Advocate Healthcare has been the top healthcare referring, re, top referring healthcare system participating in the DCC initiative. To date, they have connected over 1,000 families to the DCC initiative, promoting access for not only individuals who are with the disease, but caregivers and families to the Alzheimer's Association's care and support programs. This is such a great example of how we can work together to meet the unique needs of families who are contending with Alzheimer's and dementias. So joining us today to accept the award is Dr. Darren Gittleman, Director of Cognitive Disorders at Advocate Medical Group, Illinois. Dr. Gittleman, thank you for joining us on stage. So we would like to once again offer our congratulations to SIBO and Advocate Healthcare. Grateful for all that you do to support the Alzheimer's Association. Once again, a round of applause. I, I love the front row. Isn't this, I mean, right. the, the, can everybody see us in the back? It gets darker back there. Are you guys? There we right, go. Y'all with are. us? All right. Okay. I see, wait, I see purple. There you go. I, I don't know if you can see, but purple socks. Just like Donny Osmond right here. <laughs> All right, we're going to take a quick break, and uh, we want you to enjoy lunch, and uh, we will gather together again and uh, continue the celebration. So thanks so much. We are so glad to have you with us today. Enjoy. Oh, there you go. And we're back. So I would love it if you would give us a moment of your time and attention right now. I hope that you were paying attention to uh, some of the great accomplishments that were on the screen of what the vision of the Alzheimer's Association is. It's not about right now, it's about looking forward. And uh, I think that's where we find our hope and understand our impact. So right now I am pleased to introduce a few of our distinguished guests today for a conversation on Alzheimer's impact and hope. So first, Dr. Joanne Pike is president and CEO of the Alzheimer's Association. Dr. Pike has held several roles at the organization since joining in 2016. Dr. Pike. 
Yes, let's show love. I believe in showing love. Let me just say this right now. Applause today is love. So we're going to do that, okay? Is that an agreement? I, I don't hear you. Thank you. Okay. Amra Walker.